The David A. Andelman and Pamela Title Award, sponsored by David and Pamela, for best international reporting in the broadcast media, showing a concern for the human condition. A WGBH frontline documentary titled Outlawed in Pakistan tells the story of how difficult, if not impossible, it is for a rape victim to actually get justice in Pakistan. An H2H Films team, along with the ITVS and the Pulitzer Center, produced this documentary about a 13-year-old girl from a small village who was allegedly gang raped. And accepting the award is the entire team of Habiba Nusheen, Hilka Shelman, Hemal Trivedi, and Dan Sugarman. Congratulations. Hi, I'm Habiba Nusheen. Uh, and I'm Hilka Shalman, and uh, we are the reporters and directors of Outlawed in Pakistan. Outlawed in Pakistan, as he said, is a film that tells the story of what it's like to fight a rape case in Pakistan through the perspective of a 13-year-old teenager, um, as well as the four men she accuses of her gang rape over a course of four years. Um, and this film would absolutely have never seen the light of day if it wasn't for our fantastic um, team. Uh, two of them are here with us tonight, um, Dan Sugarman, who had the task of looking through hundreds of legal documents from Pakistan that were written in absolutely terrible English and making sense of it all. Um, and Hemel Tervidi, our fantastic editor, who looked at footage over four years and uh, turned it into a coherent story. And some of that footage was really, really shitty. <laughs> I can say that because we shot it. <laughs> we learned on the job, as they say. Um, and uh, we also wanted to um, give a special thanks to our partners, the Pulitzer Center, ITVS, um, and PBS Frontline, especially Rainey Aronson and David Fanning. And this is a really special honor for us to, to be recognized for this film, you know, as a Pakistani, um, to be able to tell a story from Pakistan, a country that has become increasingly hostile towards journalists in Pakistan. Just recently, this week, another Pakistani journalist was shot three times, and he's in recovery. So to be able to tell a story from there um, as a Pakistani was, a, was an exceptionally, it's, it's an honor for me. And there were lots of uh, very special moments during um, the filming of this, and uh, some of them I know we'll never forget. Um, one of them is, um, so we were staying at the beginning of the film, we were staying with Habiba's family when we first arrived in Pakistan. And um, they were really uh, amazing and sweet and generous, and they didn't want us to rent a car because they were worried that we would be kidnapped. Um, they were especially worried to me uh, about me because I'm a you know I'm a white foreigner. I was I was trying to wear a shalma kameez and a headscarf, but I guess it was kind of sticking out. Um, and uh, you know they kept saying like no no no. Um, uh, we are going to drive you guys um, everywhere. And, you know, we were freelance reporters and we thought, no problem, that will save us time and money. It's great. Um, so the first day of filming, um, they asked us where we were going. And um, we, we told them where we were going. And um, they looked at us with like very big eyes. And uh, according to them, we were going to a very seedy part of Karachi. And uh, they were just terrified that uh, the two of us, two women, uh, would venture out there alone by themselves. Um, and so they just refused to let us go alone. And uh, we weren't sure what to do because we had a meeting with a source and we felt like we really uh, needed to go. And eventually we, we came up with an agreement that we could leave the house um, as long as they all came along with us. And I swear for the first day of filming of this film, they sat in the next room just guarding the door to make sure that nobody came in and kidnapped us. Um, if you ever had your family show up at your, if you're, you know, on your job, it's very mortifying. <laughs> <laughs> So we brought her father-in-law, her husband, and, uh, and an aunt, uh, all of the entourage with us. Um, and uh, from that day on, uh, we learned uh, a lesson, and we never told anyone in our families <laughs> ever again where we are going. Um, otherwise, the film would have probably have never seen the light of day. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for this award. <laughs> You have to bring the father-in-law next year. He would love it. <laughs> a citation in this category going to my colleagues at ABC News Nightline, Dan Harris, Nick Capote, Jean-Marie Condon, and Almin Karamadovic as well.